Hello everyone and welcome back to Code with Italians. Today we have Matvey with us. Hello. Hi Matvey, welcome. Uh, oh. Sorry, we took a couple minutes more than usual to start the stream. Uh, we were fighting Android Studio <laughs> for a change. Uh, I expect there's going to be more of that today. <laughs> so Matvey, tell us, what do you do? What do I do? Um, I do I do compose mostly these days. Uh, my name is Matvey, yeah, and I'm basically working uh, on compose uh, at Google. Right? Yeah. Well, basically, I joined Google to write compose, so I, I was doing. That's a good reason. Just, yeah, 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 <laughs> definitely. Um, before that, I was doing just Android. So now, I write the future of UI. Um, take it or leave it. Um, mostly, so mostly all the like more high level parts like design systems um, and building blocks like scroll, scrollables, clickables, boxes, and this kind of stuff is um, my speciality. As uh, like you know, with the contrast of Chuck, who's been uh, there a few a few streams before, when which is like very very on the lower level side of things. So I'm not as smart. I'm just you know mix and match a few building blocks together. So people don't have to. So that's basically what I'm doing. So you're working yeah. on the foundation layer, right? Mostly foundation layer. And also, um, like we were one of the first authors of the Material 2 library. Uh -huh. Got which it. Is like all the, which is basically a big inspiration for, for foundation in general, right? Because foundation is something like a non-existent module um, in views. I mean, uh, in views, you don't have like this middle layer mm -hmm. where we created this because we we felt like it would be nice and very composable in terms of you know just combining a few building blocks to build your switch or a button. Um, yeah, so it's working out pretty well. Someone in the chat is asking if you're working on Mario scrolling with Jetpack Compose. I don't know what that is, but it sounds funny. Or, or D-pad support. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's that's a good that's a good question. By the way, on the stream, I don't think we can comment on any. Um, plans but um you know just in general like building um so you know there are too many features in scrolling actually if you uh start digging into scrolling overall and my Mario, Mario scrolling is something that we might build into the scrolling as a build in functionality but also what we're looking for is to um make it so you can you can build your Mario scrolling lazy column for example and how how can you basically free um, make people unlock people to be able to build their own Mario scrolling or anything like this. What is Mario scrolling? I would. I can show yeah, you. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I was looking. Oh, Mario was scrolling. Yeah, I was like, thing. what the? So if, okay. I, if you see, basically Mario, Mario itself is to only all, always uh -huh. staying on the same, um, uh -huh. or the same point. And basically, okay. so on the TV. Um, screens when you leave you know when you scroll your list of um, movies with with the with the remote you press left 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 but the selected movie on always stays on the same mm -hmm. uh, in your uh, on the same okay. eyesight basically so that's what's happening with the Mario scrolling thing okay, so I, I love okay. that you have the prop to show that <laughs> of course yeah. I mean I spent enormous amount of time preparing for this stream of course so this that's not in the spirit of what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, oh, up, up in the game. <laughs> no, we will have to prepare nice. for other streams as well. That's unfair. R raising, raising the bar. <laughs> I love it. Yes, yes. I so before we get started, um, uh, Ivan, do you want to do the usual Ivan thing? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, welcome everybody. And um, before we can really start, I want to thank you, our supporter, uh, our uh, latest supporter, Federico, for buying stickers uh, that we shipped. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, the stickers that you can buy uh, on our shop are the, the classic uh, it never gets old. Angry Pizza, but you can also buy the. Um, of oh, course. Thing. Of course. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias, Mark. Gracias. Uh, 
te, 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 te quiero mucho, hermano. Okay. Uh, uh, um, bienvenidos. Buenas tardes. Eh, bienvenidos a todos. Uh, <laughs> Oh man! So this. just for context, uh, Matvey, even is studying yes. uh, Spanish, and uh, we are the, the audience is trying to help him by uh, forcing oh, him I to see. speak Spanish for a few seconds. Yeah, yeah, the audience, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not my fault. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm only no, no. the enabler. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what else? Uh, bienvenidos, oh, código. Con los italianos, uh, a hoy we, uh, no, tenemos uh, Matvey uh, por hablar de scrolling. Uh, scrolling. Eh, scrolling. Hola, oh, oh, Carmen. <laughs> scro scrolling. scrolling. <laughs> It's going to be like borderline racist, but you know, people are going to just. Oh, man. Okay, so let, let's go with it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> that's enough. Now, or we, so, Yeah, that's enough. We we already learned about Mario scrolling, so that makes me very happy. So back to the sticker situation. So you can buy them on the on the store. You can also buy the um, the Italian uh, pinched hand emoji that Sebastiano created uh, for the uh, Unicode consortium. <laughs> Uh, and, and you can uh, you can buy also a mix of other uh, stickers. What you cannot buy is the holo sticker for the Angry Pizza, and this is only available for our subscribers that win a giveaway during a live episode. So keep an eye on the chat. I'm gonna just release the the word that you need to type to get the uh, the chance to join the the giveaway. Uh, on the other hand, um, I want to just put it out there that new stickers are going to be available very soon. Uh, we we got them here. Okay. I think you can do a preview. Come on, do a preview. Yeah, do a preview. Let, let's do. Let's sneak peek. So I'm. <laughs> so so. This is this is just for Mark Ellison. Look at this. So it's a spike. It's a spike sticker. Can you see it? It looks very dark. <laughs> it looks very dark. Come on. So this is this is what you but you can you can imagine. So it's a, a spike sticker. Uh, but we also have um, another one that I'm very proud. And this this is something that people have asked a lot. So we have a YOLO driven development sticker. And I love I love this so much because this is so much us. Uh, and we have a, a couple of other different ones that it's going to be too dark to show. Uh, wait, maybe I can show this one. This is something that we are very, very, uh, also very proud. Look at this. Can you read it? Yeah, we can. <laughs> nice. This is this is lovely. And uh, and there is another one that is is black, so it's going to be basically yeah, possible to people show. were. People uh, are going to have to go to the store when we launch the new stickers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So this is this is coming. So we have a bunch of them. We are preparing the the uh, skew. <laughs> Can I call it skew for the product on the store? And so they're going to be available in uh, in a couple of days. I just need to take the pictures with my new fancy uh, Pixel Six. Ah, by the way, I, I tried the astro photography thing, and. It's uncanny. It's Did you try it like, with the dog? No, does no, it my work? dog is not a star. <laughs> no, it doesn't. He is a star. I, I mean, yeah, he's a star, but don't. I was also trying to. I was like, no, he will never be still for five minutes. That's true. But then I, then I looked at my dog, and I was like, yeah, that was definitely, definitely possible. Uh, but jokes aside, I'm very happy. The camera is very impressive, so I'm gonna try to to do nice photos for the stickers. Um, and that's it. I think we can start. We can. No, start. there's one more thing. I mentioned on Twitter. Oh, yeah. There's oh. a there's a fancy giveaway. I'm super excited about. So uh, as some of you might know, I will be speaking at QCon London uh, in Whoop. April, and I somehow managed to convince them to give us a ticket to give away. So uh, we're going to be giving away a uh, Precon ticket uh, at some point today, which is very, very exciting. And we have a uh, £50 discount for everyone else. So 
Great. Sebastian, do you have a, a link for the conference that I can add to the <laughs> that would have mean That would mean being prepared. Ah, okay. 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 You, uh, you know I don't do that. <laughs> no. Where? Where? I'll, I'll give it in a second. I'm just oh. getting it now. And... Done. Anyway, oh nice, thank you. So, um, yeah, I think we can. Let's do this. We can get started. Matvey, yeah, you let's ready? Let's do this. Um, yeah. Well, nice introduction, and uh, I'm I'm still trying to clean up. I, I bought you some time, but I I cannot share the screen while you're looking at the private keys. <laughs> That's um, I almost got you, but. <laughs> okay, so three, two, one. I'm sharing your screen. So whatever oh. you do, people will see now. <laughs> see okay. how, how the app crashes. But you know, uh, we can we can figure it out later. Maybe we can. It would be actually amazing if it it would be a very nice emulation of a real life development. You know, you yes. just sit down. You like you have you have two hours between meetings. You're like, now I'm gonna do some real work. Yes. But in reality, you just spend time installing Java. Sometimes, you know, something got broken. Java Home is out, out, out of date. Um, real life, um, real life environment. While I'm just, you know, downloading the stuff and trying to figure out what's going on, um, scrolling. What do you want to know about scrolling while I'm here? Um, so, obviously, we're going to take questions from the chat. So, people that are watching this, if you have questions, do ask. We're going to answer them. Uh, but besides that, uh, I think that the general, like the first question I have is, um, like, what what is the the implementation? Like, how is it the scrolling implementation different from the views uh, scrolling? If you know that, <laughs> so <laughs> Ooh, that's a because. That's a I remember in, in views, scrolling started with simple scrolling, then they added uh, nested scrolling uh, and all that stuff. Is that something that is built in from the beginning in Compose? Is there something that you need to do specifically to make it work? Let's see. Um, so that's that's a good question. Um, as with many things, it's kind of complicated a little bit with Compose because you know we have to figure out like where to stop reusing what we have in views and when to start implementing stuff because it's just better for for long term longevity of the new UI toolkit. Um, in um, just give me a second to insert pass password because we installed in the new Java here. Um, there we go. So basically, oh, I need to open a beer. We are um, Damn, we're doing beers. I didn't know that. Oh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't tell you. Okay. Oh, damn. Lost chance. <laughs> anyway, um, it's zero alcohol, though, unfortunately. Um, so um, the way we did it, we actually implemented many of the, like most of the things we implement, we implemented from scratch. I think it's important first to kind of say what is scrolling, right? Scrolling is just, it seems like it's the situation where you where the user puts the finger on the screen and then moves it, right? In reality, there is way, way more. Uh, it's like mouses, it's keyboard support, it's nested scrolling, it's over scroll, it's glow and over scroll, it's fling, it's animated scrolling, it's like priorities between animation and user input, a lot of stuff. Um, because we were basically re-implementing the whole pointer input system. Um, in terms of APIs, we decided to implement the scrolling as well. Um, so most of the things are new. Uh, we took some inspiration where it made sense, for example, fling, right? So like, we don't want to implement the fling curve, like the animation. We want to fling, uh, fling to feel the same, whether you're using views or compose. Um, therefore, we still like, made a, ver a cotton version of this uh, new DK curve. So uh, even there, where we want to keep things the same, we kind of try to make it more modern and again, like more long-term viable um, in many cases. Um, also, like the, the whole scrolling thing, and not only scrolling, but the scroll 
containers as well, like lazy column, like modifier, dot vertical scroll, horizontal scroll, or scrollable, which is kind of low, low level block. Um, they, they are complicated in, ter in terms of the state as well. And because we do state differently in Compose, um, it made sense to rethink how scrolling works and how um, we can map this to the new state system that we have. Um, and you, you know, the new idiomas, I would say. But basically, you can hoist the state of the scroll. You can control the state, the scroll from any layer of your app. You don't have to have an access to recycler view, for example, like you have to do, um, like you have to um, in view system. So I can talk forever, so stop me when it becomes more boring. I think the interesting part as well, which I think I'm very proud of, to be honest, is the nested scroll. Nested scroll um, was built basically from the ground up as well uh, in Compose, and it possesses a few very nice properties that we don't have in views, unfortunately. So first of all, it you know we, we are coming and adopting a 10 years of experience, so we, we, we were able to learn from the 10 years, because we have like what? Nested scroll child one, nested scroll child two, and nested scroll child three in, in the view system. We have only one right now. Maybe in, you know, in 10 years, we'll have uh, nested scroll two and three and compose, who knows? But right now, we only have one, which kind of makes, makes it possible to do all three, what all three were doing before, but and, all, and more. And basically the idea is like, Nested scrolling in Compose is by default cooperative, similar to, I don't know, maybe even coroutines and, and, and many other things. So in a sense that there is a clear contract that if you are a scrolling node, you're also participating in nested scrolling no matter what. Which means that all the cases like you have a lazy column inside lazy column and inside you have a scrolling text field, everything will work out of the box um, in terms of scrolling, like if you reach the bound of the text field, the lazy column will start to scroll, and then the outer one, uh, where oh, nice. in kind of in views we had to re we had to implement this for each scrolling container. Like we have some bits for recycle view, some bits for view pairs, some for list view, something here, something there. Uh, if you use just scrollable in compose, you get everything kind of out of the box, which is, I think, very nice. And in general, kind of pushes towards the many unexpected but very good surprises when you start, you know, doing some more sophisticated UIs, nest, nest stuff together. And um, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that, that's very cool. Um, yeah, in, so, in the view world, it was very much like nothing is nested scrolling correctly by default. You have to put work into it. So that's already a big, big difference. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Right now, it's more like, you know, just if you use the scrollable, that's doable. If you want to use just nested scrolling without scroll, without scrolling, like I don't know, for collapsible toolbars, you still guide it via API towards the happy path of knowing about things you have to know. So that's that, that's kind of cool. That, that's very interesting because in the current project that I'm that I'm working at the moment, uh, we had at some point um, one of my colleagues that wanted to add, um, like you know, we, we joked about it, fancy scrolling because we had a, a carousel um, that was part of a two-screen uh, setup with a view pager. So, you know, at some point you reach the end of the, the carousel and then you, you want to scroll on the other uh, page of the view pager and out of the box it was not working. So he had to uh, tweak it. And so when you say that every component that scrolls is aware of other components scrolling around, uh, that makes me very happy because, you know, those, those things are, 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 are nice to have, but they are also a bit tricky to implement manually. And it, it it's very quick quickly you say reaches a, bit, a point where you, know, you, you more like very hmm? complicated. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, luckily for me, John did it. So, but okay. you know, if it was, it was, uh, it was one of those things. We 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 joked about calling it fancy scrolling because for me, that's that's you know that's fancy because it's not out of the box. It's 
iOS doesn't have it. If iOS doesn't have it, it's uber fancy for me. Uh, but then he just sat there like for a couple of hours and pulled it, uh, pulled it off. So I was like, okay, wow, that's impressive. And it's very nice. For, uh, it's very pleasing from a UX point of view. Uh, but again, you know, if you have it for free with Compose, happy even. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's a good point. I think overall, many cases out of the box should work fine. Uh, sometimes the problem is sometimes it's like the opposite. It's basically you want to not to have nested scroll sometimes. Like with view pager, you know, sometimes you don't like if you have a, um, as you said, in a view pager, you have like a list inside of um, horizontal scrolling. When you fling and you reach the end, you don't want to swap to, to swap to the new page. Where like in a fully fully creative world, that's just happening by default, and it's kind of nice, but you know. In surprising ways, it might be too nice and too unexpected when you switch the page when you don't really want to. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, product is happy, design is happy. So yeah. I'm very happy with yeah. that. Nested scroll is something that um, we designed that it's easy to opt out. It's also easy, to, mm -hmm. like it's easy. I think it's like fairly easy to opt in, but in general, like you don't really want to mess with this kind of more low level stuff. Where like the opt-in out is very easy. You just say, "Yeah, I am just consuming everything. Don't propagate up or down or down like this." We have a question in the chat that is quite quite a question. Do you want to address it? Uh, let's see. It's, it's essentially how to scroll in more than one direction, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, let's because... see. Uh, I'm scrolling. Like it would be amazing to see if you could make a scrolling grid. Yeah, unlike vertical, uh, like we which only scrolls in one direction, you want to scroll in both directions. Basically, how to scroll multiple lazy rows at the same time, probably with the same lazy state if possible. Um, yeah, they're trying to do lean back in Compose. Yeah, lean. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, this question coming from the same person. So I, I expect, yeah, I expect it's more like a, on a TV, TV set of things. Um, oh yeah, lean back one to zero. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, I remember I recently answered to one of the um, one of the bugs with similar requests. I think even now it's possible. We left a few kind of um, how do you say it? We left a few low level APIs that allow you to control scrolling simultaneously of a few things. For example, like with the I think it's called dispatch row delta or something like this. Um, so yeah, I mean it should be doable. We can we can dedicate uh, our sim to this one if you want as well. Um, but I think you have some tasks for me. So, probably. Um, let's see. I, I wanted to show the the API. Uh, yeah, let me this one. Share your screen then. Dispatch row delta. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this it's one. So local. basically, the idea. I I saw the in a while the um the one person. So what they did, you know, the staggered grid problem is where like when you when you have a grid, which is not like a cell, 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 and cell, 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 like three cells per row and this kind of stuff, but more like you know photo thing when you have a lot of different um, orientations, different landscape photos. So what this person did is that um, they they had a few different lazy columns which were controlled simultaneously. Basically, by dispatching raw deltas to any non-scrollable currently lazy column. So basically, I imagine you have three lazy columns, user scrolls this one, and then you get the delta, and then you scroll the other ones with the dispatch mm -hmm. raw delta. It's kind of like bypassing nice. everything, like bypass the priorities, bypass the when, whatever user is doing, like maybe there is an animation, bypass everything. Don't don't launch nested scroll. Don't do anything. Just feed the delta scroll. to scroll and just make it scroll for sure. Does that so, only work with touch, or does no, it work no, with everything? Just, you can just call this method from any play. Well, technically from any place and uh, with any delta, and it will work. So it's not 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 to touch. You can do like. 
again, it's, it's just react on anything and feed any delta. So in example of the three lazy columns, if you're scrolling the medium one with any, by any mean, actually even um, playing, touch, mouse, again, keypad, anything like this. Um, on the reaction to this, you can just call this dispatch or delta on the neighborhood uh, lazy columns and it, they will scroll. So that's kind of how we can make the one direction with um, one direction, but few la different lazy columns called together. All, all lazy rows for that for that matter. Uh, the two-dimensional one would be more interesting, I guess, because um, should be also doable. But you know, in general, like, the, the best way to do it would be just to have two dimensions scrollable, which is a long, long-standing feature request on our side to uh, to do. So. Yeah. Got it. Did you manage to get the app running, by the way? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> Looks like you need okay. Java but 11. I have Java now. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you are running Java 8. Yeah. yeah. And you, you have what? Java, um, yeah, you need 11. Java 11 uh, for the latest versions of uh, the Android Griddle plugin. OK. Yeah. Give me a sec. Yeah. Uh, so, while you do that, by the way, everyone, uh, I am aware that when we switch the layout on the on the stream, the chat gets reset. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's probably a bug in the latest version of OBS. Um, I'm sorry for that. Uh, there's not much I can do while we're live, unfortunately. Um, Ivan, do you want to do a PSA in the meantime? Ah, yes. great so timing. I just, I just <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, great mind things are like, right? So, um, yeah. So if you want to uh, join the giveaway and take your chances to get the Angry Pizza stickers and a bunch of other stickers that we have got. Uh, <laughs> From an anonymous donor. <laughs> Yeah, from an anonymous donor. So we have a bunch Pizza of uh, very cool uh, IntelliJ uh, slash Kotlin slash uh, JetBrains slash Android sneakers. Look at this. So we have a, a bunch of them. And um, those are the extra sneakers that you get um, with the giveaway. So the live giveaway is the only opportunity to get the stickers that you usually get at conferences, but yeah, <laughs> if you don't until go you to can go to conferences because, again, yeah, yeah, until you can go to conferences again, uh, there is us. So basically, uh, we are the official uh, the shipping channel of uh, stickers from conferences. Um, jokes aside, yes, join the. Um, join the, um, the giveaway you just need to type mario in the chat and the bot is gonna uh, track your participation so nothing nothing fancy and we are shipping everything free of charge all around the world uh, by the way we just uh, ran out of uh, europe uh, stamps <laughs> so i need to go to the post office again uh, but uh, yeah no, and get looked at weird nothing. by the people there yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm definitely an unusual customer because who who ships so many mail, you know, envelopes through Europe? Um, but uh, but I'm happy that the stickers are coming through. I I'm happy to see uh, people on Twitter uh, tagging us because they received the stickers. Uh, we we just uh, shipped a bunch of them uh, this week, so in the next few days, um, Carmen should should get the stickers. Uh, uh, Federico should get the stickers. Uh, we had a um, it was like six seven uh, envelopes that uh, they start they they went out this um, uh, <laughs> smuggler list. Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah yeah yeah. Um, and yeah, that's it. No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing more. What do we have on your side? Any progress? On my side or Matvey's side? 
<laughs> Math way. Oh, oh, no, no, no. We can we can spend forever because I I uh, I'm very bad at this thing, you know. Uh, <laughs> the real Android Dev experience. Installing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know this, this. You know that this was one of the best interview that I did. I, I I told you that, right? I interviewed for a company a few years ago, and the the whole interview process was uh, basically even. This is a, a live uh, video call. You are going to pair with this person. And this is the repo on GitHub. <laughs> get, get started. And it was fascinating because the, the repo was, was broken. Like, you know, as Mate was, was saying, uh, the, the thing doesn't work. You know, you clone the thing, it doesn't build. Why it doesn't build? And then you start hunting down uh, mm -hmm. problems. And it was a, it was a fascinating experience because you know you start from something like you know the dependency are broken or you know things are uh, deprecated and then you get yourself up and then fix this and fix that and fix that and eventually you get to the real app and then you start writing tests. It was a nice interview. It's probably not for everybody because there was a bit of a pressure kind of thing, right? Because you have people looking at you while you are fixing Gradle. And, Wait, but, but you also was it, need to... was it intended that you had to fix everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was oh, the idea okay. because because it was basically um, it's one of the consulting agent agencies that I'm working with, and considering that you are gonna be working with the client, you know, and maybe there is like a legacy project, and maybe there is. Um, you, you are basically, you know, this drop in Deus Ex Machina that is supposed to be fixing shit the moment they step inside the room. Um, there was, they tried to recreate that kind of environment where like, you know, there is a, uh, there is a bit of pressure. So how, how you communicate the fact, what do you do while Gradle is singing, right? So because they, because they are paying you uh so maybe you can uh do other things while the thing is running you know it's it was a nice uh, experience so i think any... you spent spend way less time than talking about uh, real important things like yeah things. let's uh let's shelve it for now <laughs> let's talk about yeah uh, let's go but, some do so some so click through that should work <laughs> do you want do you want to share your machine and maybe oh, that, with that uh, code with me? Yeah, sure. Uh, Matt, we can do. Let can me do the clicky clicky Cody Cody. Yeah, let yeah. me get the code with me started, so I can send the link. Because we we have the technology, right? Yeah. I mean, let's try to leverage it. We have the technology. Let's go. Wow, magic. Code with me. I mean. We have rovers on Mars, man. Um, not just that. If, you, if yeah. you think about that, that's that's not 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 an easy thing to do. Hi, Adam. How are you doing? Hey, Adam. Uh, okay, so let me share my screen. Mm, boom. Okay, so Matvey, what were you trying to do? <laughs> Um, no, I was trying to I was just trying run to the app because I'm yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were trying to, to run the app and then okay. Let let me share my screen with you then on the Skype call, and then you should see it now. Nice. Yep. Okay. And yeah, of course, uh, it needs to start the emulator and run build the app, but it's gonna do it in a second. So. Um, you were trying to, whoop. Yeah. You were it's trying to working. do something, but now that you've joined, I can follow you and then you can go around and do whatever you want. Nice. Was I, so the question is, was I trying to do something? I don't know. Maybe you were just <laughs> trying to run the app. <laughs> That's exactly no, but, the... but we, we have the scrolling master here, so let's try to scroll something fancy fancy. So, so what can we scroll? Yeah, so the, the, the thing that I wanted uh, Matre to look at, if possible, mm. uh, is we have this uh, like partial reveal thing that we did with uh, with Adam. Hey, Adam. Um, but it, it kind oh, of works. Yeah. 
but I remember it, it, it was like two million episodes ago yeah two million it was last summer or something but there's stuff like you can the swap we're hijacking the swipe to dismiss here uh but i think it would be nicer to have the a way where you don't need to scroll half the way through the 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 item to reveal the the thing underneath maybe just have it slot there and not scroll it all in the other direction all right sounds easy enough i mean it is it's easy for you <laughs> sure sure so i mean that that's what i like with our guest it took three people to make a shitty thing and then wait, it wait. comes in and say well that was easy and i was like yep definitely, wait, but, definitely. But, but now it's open properly right now it stays in the same place yeah 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 it, it I, as i said it kind of works but um like there's stuff that doesn't work. Oops, I must I click the uh, notification. So for example, you cannot just do this and leave it. It will not nap there. You oh, need to okay. go all the way and then back. I see. So it's notification list screen, right? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, where notification list screen. So yeah, if you want. So the... how how does fancy thing work? So basically, uh, I will I will just type and people will see, right? Yeah, yeah. It's think of it like Google Docs. Oh. And you can click on uh, my name here, well my circle uh, with the with the S, and it will follow me. Or the other way, I can follow you and see what you're doing around. So. Uh, notifications list screen is I think down there is a lazy column. I don't remember where the crap with the, with the nav snoozable navigation. Icon. Yeah, I think is yeah. Okay, I see dismiss yeah. dismiss state and this kind of stuff. Okay, oh, some amazing code you wrote here. Good job. How do I so when I type the code? How do I run the preview? You run the preview, right? Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, I think you can technically do it, but I haven't tried it, so no, no, it no, might no, work sorry. or it might not work. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's see. So basically, what we are, so what's what's the state of art? We we can swipe stuff, but we can swipe it too far. Yeah, like there there is no way to say, oh, it swipes, but then it it stops here. It doesn't swipe it more. There. Uh, and also, because of the way Swipe to Dismiss is done uh, with this hack, we need to leave both directions enabled, and then you can swipe it from the other side, which you shouldn't be able to do. So we want to, to be able to swipe it to this point. We want to be able to swipe it back to the original position, but nothing else. But you can do more stuff now, which... Uh, so, so it's basic. So it's funny how... We've spent, so it's, it's it's classic thing. We spend a lot of time trying to make the resistance work. So so if you yep. try to swipe, <laughs> <laughs> so if you try to swipe to the to the to the to the left, yeah, yeah, and you say you know you can swipe a little bit, but it you know it, it don't really go right. It's like it says yep. it says to you like mm -hmm. you can try to play with me, but you cannot really swipe. So. Like the, the, Effect we were working for quite some time, and people are like, yeah, it's so, so, it still seems like the back. Okay, I I understand why it's here. Uh, I honestly I I don't have any anything against it. It's just that it it shows the background that I I I think it's confusing in a scenario where we only want people to be able to do this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it, we can we can we can make it white as well. That's yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, boom, 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 boom. So let's do one by one. Let's try to first make sure that we op only open uh, to the amount we need to. Yeah. So if we go into Swipe Dismiss, let's see uh, what it consists of. There is a swipeables thing, which is, um, I think, the most important bit we need to work on. It takes a lot of different things and it also takes resistance config. Which um, is exactly what's happening, you know, when you when you when you swipe on the left, it kind of says, "Yeah, I'm resistant, but I still do stuff." Um, 
Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at the anchors. So the swipeable is the thing that allows you to swipe or scroll or touch or animate between different states. These states we call anchors. They're basically right now in our item there are two anchors: the closed one and then the open one when you're when you're when you're showing the background, or at least we want to have to. So that's what we want. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I, I remember looking at the anchor stuff, but it's all private. So the, the thing was like, it's not exposed as a parameter. Uh, it's all inside and you only have like start to end and end to start and that's it. Like, yep, yep, yep. yep. It's, uh, it's basically because, um, it's basically because site to use means is kind of like ready to use item. Mm -hmm. More like, material specified item you know with the resistance you cannot really change so you, you cannot change the the factors at which it mm -hmm. is resistant you cannot turn it off i'm afraid um you cannot really control the anchors so what you can do you can say yes only full width and full height but that's uh, that's totally okay and um that's because uh we can just copy paste right to this means that's what that's what, that's what we're going to do or actually, we can write our own, uh, which is. Um, I mean, either one works. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's let's do. So we do composable, um, and we do fun. Um, what do we do? This a uh, snooze, right? Okay. Snooze icon. Mm, let's see what we want. Uh, so some something with swipe. That's fine. We can use a snooze background. Um, Thresholds also fine, um, and then you have a box with the, with an notification item as the content and the background, and um, that's it. That sounds yeah, it's uh, fairly simple. It sounds simple enough. Yes. Um, okay. So basically, what is happening? Um, let, let let's start without this file. Let, let, let's just emulate. Um, the emulate what we want without any types. Let's just kind of bring it back to the um, to the very beginning without any snoozing. Mm -hmm. um, the way it works is that we have background in a box in our flame, kind of frame layout, and then we have a box with the is the content mm -hmm. basically we have our background and then we have our uh, item content we're missing some stuff but i don't think we need it um maybe we can copy paste these two things um there yeah and the then... logic probably can be simplified quite a lot if we don't have to work around uh, how uh swap to dismiss works Mm, I, I I hope so, yeah. Um, so that's kind of again. Um, while I'm copy pasting stuff, we can talk about the the layering. The yeah. Layering is something that I really like in Compose, and that's kind of showcases what I was um, speaking about way 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 earlier at the very beginning when I said you know we we don't have kind of foundation layer in views. Where here we explicitly said like we can allow ourselves and users to make an easy API like Swipe to Dismiss that might suit 90% of use cases, but for 10% of use cases, it will never do what you want, but we will expose the underlying layers as a public API, like Swipeable, so people can do more custom stuff if they want. It kind of allows us to build better API and layering um, and simpler API, and for users to be aware of the stuff they want to be aware of at this um, very, you know, time. Like you were doing some swipe dismiss first, you did some kind of more bare bones stuff, and now you want to do something more custom. So you can drop the layer, we call it, drop the layer and go a little bit deeper into the weeds, but still have an access to the, um, still have an access to the uh, public API that is needed and the functionality. So that's nice. Because 
basically what we do, we provide modifiers swipeable, so we can build our own swipe using this item way easier, uh, I hope. Um, we don't need to do dismiss state like this, and then what is uh, internal parameter? What? Kind of has to be okay. I just obey, obey the stuff. Um, I don't think you need to suppress, but um, public uh, a function exposes internal parameter. Uh, yeah, you need to make the function internal. All right. <clears throat> uh, okay, see. Mm -mm -mm. Then we have dismiss state, which we don't need. And then we have this five to dismiss this alpha. Okay, we need to do alpha as well, right? It's, it some, sounds like it's something yeah. that you need. Um, so I first, we want to preserve what's there already. So we have our box, we can do that. Um, can we just place this snooze item where... In whatever preview we were doing, uh, which one do you want? Uh, list dark preview, light preview? Uh, it's the same. They're... Oh no, we, yeah, we, we can do this. Uh, we can do lazy column, and then we can do like that. So what I want, I want to try. I want to try that it looks the same as before. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hide the emulator in the meantime. I, I think the ID is kind of exploding. So yeah, the preview might or might not work. <laughs> it's fine. We can we can try the emulator. Emulator is a more or less reliable thing. Yep. Uh, in the meantime, while it's loading, we can, we can start digging a little bit deeper, which uh, is still Trivial-ish. Okay. okay. Looks similar enough to what we had before. Yeah, should be fine. But it doesn't. Um, it doesn't swipe, which is a close one. Um, nice. Let's let's do some swipes. So we want to be able to swipe the whole item. Therefore, we will apply the Swipeable on the most outer box, and we try to do swipeable. So what swipeable does is again, it's kind of like because it's on public contract of the things that are very necessary, and then things that you can control, like enable disabled, whether the, the direction is reversed or not, the interaction source uh, for like some declarations, um, threshold config, resistance config. Which is <clears throat> um, which is on by default, but we can turn it off if you don't want to. Again, like if you don't want to, you know, like be resistant by default, right? And then we have velocity threshold. I mean, it, it's fine to have the resistance as long as we don't see the background underneath on the other side. Oh, that's so. true. That's true. Yeah, that's actually, let's first turn it off and then try to turn it on and like have a background yeah. be better. At, uh, um, as it seems like it will be easier. OK, so what we need, we need to decide what orientation would be our swipe with our anchors, like our states between which one we will uh, swipe, and then the swipeable state. Let's do with the simple one. Of course, we want our orientation to be orientation mm, horizontal, right? We want to swipe horizontal. Mm -hmm. Then our anchors. They are specified right here. It's for the ADP, right? So basically, yeah. our anchors will be um, the map of. Um, and we can do something simple like internal in a class dismiss state. We can do open, we can do closed, and then we can do map of. Let's see what we need. We need a map of float to type. So basically, zero, um, it's, it won't be a DP because we need floats because we, we operate when, when it comes to lower lower level point triple, we operate with pixels. So it will be zero flow to close. So the offset of, so what, what we're trying to do, we're trying to uh, say 
what would be the, our offset of the foreground. Mm -hmm. So when we are closed, the offset will be zero. When we are open, the offset will be 48 dp. Uh, it's very unfortunate, but in order to uh, to be able to kind of do it, we'll have to um, convert uh, the dp to pixels. Open the pixels, and we do with. We need to access local density, so we know the density of our screen, and with the density, we can do 48 dp to pixel. Oh, this is nice. Here we go. Now we know. Now we know our pixels. Um, and then, oh, so the easy. <laughs> open uh, pixels. Oh yeah, constantly looking for this shit on Stack Overflow. <laughs> I mean, one of those things I have used for probably a million time, million search on Stack Overflow. Now, it sounds That's, a bit uh, more legit. <laughs> even it sounds like you need a live template for that. It's yeah. Tell me. <laughs> To, to so many live templates. <laughs> Dude, live templates are the Over. best. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Live, live templates are, are very, very uh, a, pro a productive uh, boost. But uh, to be honest, I uh, I might admit, um, it's a it's a very high praise for a one for the for the one line of code I wrote. It's maybe the highest praise. I've seen. <laughs> Your line of code is the prettiest I've ever seen, Matvey. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent use of map off. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, so anchors, our anchors, we, we already know them. Mm -hmm. So um, that's nice. And then we need a state. We need a uh, we call it state, which will be swipeable state. Yeah. Well, let's see what's what is swipeable state. It's an open class that has initial value of the same type t as the swipeable here. And then the animation with which we want to do things, and then the confirm state change, which is kind of like allows us to veto the change. Mm. I don't know, maybe this move is not available, but you still want to change. Um, show it to developer, but then they swipe, you roll back immediately for whatever reason. Uh, we don't need this right now. Well, 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 all we need is to say um, is to say um, what is the content offset? Why do we need content offset? I don't think you need it now. Uh, it was uh, part of the hack. Oh no! Go away. Because it was changing the offsets by hand to leave it partially visible, to leave the background partially visible when you were dismissing the, the top level, the, the top layer. It I was a huge act. what you're saying, but it's fine, because we, we couldn't do nice. so, You don't need to know, you don't moment. need to know. <laughs> was, and this was the moment when Sebastiano came clean. It was a huge act. Okay, I mean, fair enough. we knew that. <laughs> yeah. You know what, you know what? I'm, I'm blaming this on Adam. No, just, poor Adam. Just, just blame it on Adam. He came to help us. <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot blame him. Uh, came to help, stayed for the hack. <laughs> um, Sebastiano, can you import this five percent for me, please? Sure. Because I don't think why, why I cannot do it. Uh, yeah, there's, I guess, right. uh, still uh, something you. broken. So we, we want to start with uh, start to to start with the closed one, probably, right? For the, for the item. Yeah. Um. And uh, dismiss state close. Let's see. Impress member. Nice. So we have our state, um, and we just feed it here. So basically, now we can, you know, using the state, we can. So basically, Cyberball does everything for us. Um, when it comes to switching between anchors, swiping, accessibility, uh, many other things inside um, here it's not, not, not much than just you know dragging and jumping between states which is exactly what you want we want close and open and then we want state to be closed and be able to change to open we fit this here and then we need to offset this box by the amount of state dot 
um, offset dot value, right? Right. It's um. It's unhappy it's about something, but no, no, no. I, I know. Why I know. you complain? No, I, I know, I, I know why it's complaining actually. So, see, ah. um, it's um. Oh, I want tips again. It's like an interesting thing at the, how the API design influences your decisions. So, as I mentioned, um, the we operate with pixels when it comes to kind of more a little bit lower level um, point input APIs. You know, we kind of we can allow ourselves to build like more DP centric things. On a top level, and then on lower level, we need more precision. We need more like pixel by, by pixel um, handling. So, what's happening here is that the offset that accepts x and y as a value is only DP aware. Why mm. is that? It's because it's very high level thing that allows you to. Yeah, high level paid that all of you say, yeah, I've set this by 20 dp, and then sometimes you know I've set it by 5 dp. Some of this. We we are building something way more um way hotter, wow. way hotter in terms of the amount of work we need to do, right? We need to kind of on every touch, every pixel, you have to do a lot of work, like really out, remeasure, recompose. So what we want to do, we want to optimize. The way to optimize this, I don't know if you had this this series like in your um, in your stream about this, but basically the idea is when you read value like this offset dot value, like when you read mutable states during the composition, when it changes, you have to recompose, remeasure, really out, and redraw, which is expensive. If you do it very often, um, the way we can solve this, because the offset is just the offset on the screen, it's only a layout stage, right? So we can mm -hmm. build an API to save us from recomposition and remeasure and only really out and redraw, of course, um, when we need to. That's kind, of, that's kind of how all the scrolling works. If you make scrolling, recompose, and remeasure on any pixel, you know, remeasure the whole yeah. set of items. It will never work uh, properly. So there is a special, uh, was, actually nothing special, it's just like the special for this case, the offset overload, which accepts not a DP, but a lambda that mm. will be called and um, will be called only during the layout when it's actually needed. Oh, there. nice! It's a to to make it lazy. Basically, it's deferred. Yes, and it's deferred during the animation, uh, the layout stage, and because we read this value, which is uh, backed by a state, which is a mutable state of, we read this value during layout. When it changes, the comp the compose and snapshot system will only relay out for us and will never recompose. So the, the thing I want to showcase how it is slow and then how we make it fast. But the thing is, we did such a good job designing <laughs> the API that it doesn't even allow you in this case to build something slow. It forces you to build something very fast, uh, like fast from the from the scratch. Which I is that. I mean, you can take a hammer to it and make it slow if you want. Of course, yeah. you can do the de de density in convert exactly. <laughs> But it feels wrong, right? It feels yeah. exactly wrong. It's like I'm. I understand. I am doing something that I'm not supposed to, which is. But the, I like the idea that uh, making the right thing is easier. Is easier than you know trying to, as Sebastian said, you just punching it in the face until <laughs> it does what you are telling it. No, at that point, as as you say, it feels it feels wrong because I'm doing too much stuff to force the API to do what I want. It's easier if I go for with the flow. So yep. I love it. I love it. I mean, you can always go running, running and shouting, "Trust me, I'm an engineer," but uh, yeah, <laughs> that sure. doesn't necessarily work. 
Yep. Yeah, no. So, yeah, so sorry. This way, just this one way. second, uh, Matvey. Uh, as uh, just want to acknowledge what Mark just said in the chat, which is when we were doing a strike through animation, uh, we did something very similar where we had a lambda to obtain the value just in the draw phase instead of uh, using it uh, in the uh, in the layout phase. Um, that was because we we're just drawing on the canvas. So that I think, if I recall correctly, that was something that Doris uh, recommended, uh, and she would know. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. This is this is the. You know, sometimes it's not really necessary, but I think it's a very important thing to understand about this mutable states and the stages. I think we have uh, we have a separate uh, public documentation on this. It's called Compose Phases. I think it's called Compose Phases. So uh, go check it out. It basically highlights the same thing. If you read a mutable state, which is, for example, in this case, is this one, mm -hmm. or, or an animatable value dot value, right, when you call it, during only the draw inside the canvas, we can only redraw. It's like super fast compared to the um, to reading this inside the composition and performing composition measure layout draw. Here we need the layout, so we can lay, re layout, redraw very fast as well. Layout is fast usual usually. Sometimes you can read this during the measure. You know when some when for example the amount of available space uh, depends on animation, right? And then you can read it only during layout and then uh, only re-measure a layout, but never recompose. And in case you just read this like we were trying to do before, you do all the four cycles and uh, it's okay. But again, if you want to build something fast, it wouldn't work nice. Um, I think I think we are ready uh, in terms of the wiring. We have a swipeable that handles touches for us. We have offset, which will offset stuff for us. So if we can try to use it. Yeah, uh, so I'm building the previews. I, I think we can just use the interactive preview to test it, right? Let's Should go. Work. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, once Gradle is done. Um, mm -hmm. OK, so let's try this one. So okay, yeah. Well, yeah. It, it works, right? It 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 uh, it is able to open. Is it able to open? Is it able yeah. to stay? Okay, and it's we able to close it, right? Yeah. The the thing I cannot do yet is to close it by swiping left. Oh, interesting. And I also, I need to to open it like more than forty eight dips. Like if if I leave it here. So I'm I'm now I'm like am I using the right preview? <laughs> no 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 you I think yeah, that's right. I think you I'm are, not I think it doesn't change look the background right. change the background make it red so we know if it's the yeah. the right one. Oh if I change it, my... it it will change for for uh, for everything. Yeah just one second let me check the I think I think something. it's actually the different one. It's this one. So this one is the one we're using. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's which is <laughs> using the old one. Yeah, that's the problem. I need to use the snooze item. Classic. Yeah. Uh, change change the snooze background, or I, I, I can change it for you. Give uh, done. All right, let's go. I, I've done this too many <clears> times. <throat> <laughs> that's why it's the first thing I check. Is it the stupid thing that you fucked up? The answer is generally yeah. yes. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, while we are waiting for compilation, um, there are a few things we can chat about. Sure. Uh, so first of all, when we will see what's going on, we will still have this resistance of the item. Oh, that's what we have right now, right? Yeah. So this is correct. I think there is uh, one too many or modifier somewhere. I think it's this is the problem here. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Can you try to swipe the, the foreground, though? Yep. Yeah. 
See, now it now it never goes. But 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 it's we're still able to kind of go um, a little bit. Yeah, off, that's right? fine. Right. Um, so let's fix let's fix the let's fix the layout first. Um, so in snooze back snoozable notification item, um, we were able to do background and foreground, and then background wasn't taking the whole space, even though it's still max size. And that's why I think in Swipe to Dismiss, we have a predefined um, size. No, we don't. We match parent size. Uh, yeah, I think that might be the. I think this is the thing because um, that was probably overriding the the modifier that I set into the content, right? Um, probably, yeah. But I, I guess I can just we can just replace that uh, match. Uh, uh, sorry, fill max size with match parent size in here. That should be enough. Uh, fill max size with, with what you want to fill? With, with match, uh, match parent size, I think. Right, it was. but then but then snooze background needs to be in a box scope, which it isn't right now. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, it which is, is which is fine. We can we can we can that we, we can teach it how to respect modifiers because you you have to respect modifiers if you're good if you're a good element. So we can do and this. And we are. And we can do. That and now we accept modifiers, which is amazing. And then this goes away, and we still maintain the um, the previous state of art here by doing modifier to max size. Uh, I think you're editing the old one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Ah, okay, I okay, okay. To, I want to preserve the old one. Right, and fair enough. To be the same as it was before. I don't want to break your stuff. I mean, um, our even stuff though, is even already though broken. My stuff, my stuff is better than yours. But um, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's do this. But well, we don't need to relaunch the preview yet because I, what I want to show you is that what we can do, we can do resistance config now, and now we won't have this. Kind of like annoying for you, like this over over thing when you um, when you swipe, you know, at the in the wrong direction, yeah. we will show nothing. So I mean, the resistance to... was annoying in the previous situation, uh, but I think it actually it's fine. It like I I understand why it's there. And okay, I... yeah, let's let, let's try without resistance. Let's see, like if we like this more, and then we can definitely roll. So back I first. I have refreshed. Yeah, you... no, I it it didn't. No, no, no. Let me stop and restart it because I think he got a bit confused. Yeah, okay, this is definitely. I I cannot drag it more. Amazing. So it seems like this is basically what you wanted, right? Yep. So before, um, so. Nice. Uh, you still think resistance still makes sense, right? So yeah, can... yeah, yeah. It does now that you can. Okay, but you want, but, but what you want to have, you want to have the 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 background from the other side to be a little bit. Yeah. Uh, why? So what we can do, we can do something. Or, or very, just even very... transparent would be fine, I guess. In this case, we can. Yeah, we can do something very hacky. Don't do don't do this, um, kids. But we can do this. <laughs> Maybe. That is <laughs> what I would have done. <laughs> I like that we're thinking the same way. Yeah. Uh, this complaining that yeah, modifier should be the first one, I guess. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let's refresh. Uh, by the way, uh, what I was thinking. Um, does this um, like okay? There's one thing we need to do still, and I think it's the last one, which is if you click the button, does it animate closed as it did before? Uh, no, of course not, of course not. But uh, we, can, we can make this work. Noise. We have this, this thing here, we don't forget. So actually, um, we can clean up some code while we're, while we're yep. waiting. Do we waiting for something or? Uh, no. 
I wanted to check if, if, if there is it from, uh, from the other side, if from the other side is white. Yeah, it's transparent. Do you want transparent? Do you want? Yeah, no, transparent is fine. Okay. Because nice. we don't know whatever background the item will get, so it's okay. it's okay. Okay, makes sense. Let's clean up something because uh, I mean, has to try to snoop. What? what? I don't think you need this anymore. Maybe you were trying to do some. No, that was part of the. You yeah, would probably just... to wait to wait and then close. Yeah, right? yeah, I think so. Uh, but. I think the only thing we care about is the um, like when we click the snooze uh, button in the background, it's going to take some time for the event to reach the system UI and then come back to the app. So the ha the uh, the the flag has snoozed is essentially to put to to tell us to already disable that card and to um, to fade it out, like to make it oh, we disabled. Can, we, we can make this work, it's fine, okay. I, I, will, I will just leave it like this for now. And then um, item alpha, okay, something that we need. And then this one we need to put here so we don't forget. Yeah. Um, cool, so basically we almost did it. I just want to highlight a few few things before before we move forward with the cycle. Yep. Yep. Um, which is, I think it's kind of important. Um, so, because we, so let, first let's see. So can I, can I, can I get some help? Um, so if we subtract, subtract the 213 from 264, we have how many lines of code? 264 minus 213, 51. 51. Right, and here we have, 204 minus uh, 137, which gives us 67, which is even more, isn't it? Yep. So it's a kind of nice highlight of how dropping the layer down saves you some lines of code, you know, the code to maintain, and also gives you more flexibility to do stuff, which yeah. is. Which is very nice. I think like a nice. nice uh, and you still have things that you can delete, like comments and stuff like that, so you can make it even yeah, smaller. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, again, we kind of we lost a few things right here and there, and I, I think that's kind of important to keep track on those. So, for example, it, because Fire Business is a ready-to-use item, um, what we can see here is that is there is like a reverse direction in Swipeable that is properly set for a swipe to dismiss. Mm -hmm. It's called is right to left. So swipe to dismiss properly supports right to left, where our item is not. So people with the right to left locales will suffer, and we need to fix this. What we do, we just can go to swipe to dismiss and copy paste this, or you know just get um, the local layout direction, check if it's right to left, and if it's right to left, we do reverse direction. True. I love how price. easy this is. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, you want to do right to left? Just pass in the flag. It's done. Yeah, which is, is not a thing you usually uh, you usually say when you uh, um, do uh, right to left support. Is it? The only thing yeah. I think there's one more thing that we need to tweak, which is the background padding hack uh, that also needs to be adjusted. Like we need to swap the direction and or is that or is and no and is gonna work anyway and and is, no, like and is gonna work right yeah, yeah yeah left and right they they had the problem and start and end there yeah but i, I always working. double check because i uh, never know <laughs> you never know <laughs> no never uh, where's the dog oh he's back on the couch yeah so now we have right left support which is amazing we don't we are not going to test this but I'm sure it will work. Um, let's see what we are missing. Uh, so resistance config, we decided to leave it as is. Again, see here, resistance config is, I think it's bigger than mm. the default one. That's why you had this, you know, like very, very long yeah. uh, overstage of things. We, I think this, the default one is nice. The default one is like subtle, small, and nice. So that's good. Let's stick with the with the default one. Yeah, for what we're doing is probably better. Yeah, uh, and then and then we 
I don't think we need anything else from here in particular. I don't but, think so. But what we need, yeah, yeah. I, I think what we need, though, is um, being... Um, okay, we need to be able to close the item when you press it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is this one command line. So, so basically, you know, when you use ready-to-use items, you have a very nice kind of domain-specific operations, like dismiss state reset. You reset the dismissed item to the initial state. Mm -hmm. because, we, because we have our own SQL state, which kind of like more generic, it's still one line of code, but uh, we need to do animate2, uh, which is kind of similar to animation APIs and, and whatnot. Uh, and Specify the, the the dismiss state, um, which would be a closed one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. This will be run with the default animation, which will be a default animation spec. It's going to be a spring, I guess. Specify, yeah, specify, but it can be spring. It's going to be OK, stiffness. We can try this out and adjust later. Uh, spring is so fine. Let's, let's, let's try and see how it goes. OK, let's refresh. I like uh, the fact that I don't want to jinx it, but I like the fact that we are doing this with the preview. You know, it's improving. Yeah. It's uh the preview generally yeah. works. Uh yeah. so sometimes there's too much like if your UI state is too tied to other data, it might be complicated, but so if you click look at that, fuck me, that's nice. Boom. Nice. Boom. That's good. That's actually uh, very nice. So and it is animating, right? Because I'm yeah, probably it is. missing something via Skype. Yeah, yeah, it but is. But it's not just shutting close. It's like smooth, smooth animation, springy, springy, right? Yeah. Nice. So one line. Anyway, yeah, I, I think I love this stuff. something that is missing still. Uh, well, I think this uh, as try to snooze. We don't need it anymore. Uh, we can just nuke it. Uh, what we need to do is to uh, use the has snoozed to to change the item alpha and to disable the. So the the thing is, if the notification is snoozed, what I want to do. So when when this is clicked, I want this to go back and the content of the foreground to be disabled. Even even though we are not smooth, snoozed yet, because we are waiting for the server to kind of answer. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, the action happens immediately in the in the notification shade uh, but it takes time for the notification listener service to get the callback from the system saying oh it's actually snoozed now so i am kind of like i'm preemptively showing in the ui as if the notification was immediately snoozed and then when i get the callback the item will be recomposed uh, and it will be recomposed as um, as news already, so that should be fine. Okay. Um, so it's kind right. of like I'll... doing a, like a delete animation for an item in a in a lazy list, I guess. Yeah. So mm. that's where we enter the interesting category, right? Because we kind of when we start thinking about <clears throat> present, past, and this kind of thing <laughs> in in declarative systems, it usually becomes a little bit more complicated. Which is fine. Um, which is fine. Uh, let's see how how can we do. So we have two sources of truth, right? Uh, we have the source of truth right now that comes from the server, which is this. Is yes, and then we have the one that kind of our has new, uh, which is that one. Um, yeah. Okay, so the way we do it. Is we have the remember mutable state off, and then we have a. Um, let's do like this. Let's go is in is in progress, mm -hmm. um, and then we do like either if it's either it's snoozed already or in progress. Oh, you use by okay. Um, then we do disable it, right? Yeah. Um, OK. So what we do here is. So we need to change this like this code we had was not necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I mean, so what I'm trying to figure out 
the thing is kind of, you know, we have the called back. Um, oh no, what's happening? I have no idea, but I can do it if you want. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, so what? Is, so what we want? We want on this on notification dismiss. It's kind of like a more old school callbacky thing, right? You just send it, and you never know when it will arrive. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is bubbling up to the view model and then up to the service that is running in the background. So the problem is we never know if, if it will fail or fail or not. As well. Yeah, we just say do stuff and then if it fail, how do we? So how do we roll back if it will fail? Um, that's a good question. I how do we want to roll back if 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 it fails or do you want to batch these operations and record them in the database and send it later? So not none like that. The snooze state is not like a database operation. It's an in-memory operation um, because this is essentially our source of truth for this stuff is system UI. So. Uh, we are sending the command to system UI. System UI is doing the snoozing, and then we will get a callback at some point, generally after a second or two, that the snoozing has actually been done. Because we, we are snoozing notifications in the notification shade. So there is no persistency here, and that's kind of like why we have to do the double source of truth Thing. Well, the transient state in the UI plus the state that comes from uh, uh, from system UI itself. If the snoozing will fail, what do we receive? We, we receive nothing of those, right? Uh, nothing, but I don't think it can actually fail unless the notification doesn't exist anymore. But in that case, we will soon get uh, a callback from system, system UI saying that notification doesn't exist anymore. OK, then we can try to assume that it will never fail, even though. Yeah, I think it's probably fine in most cases. I am sure it's going to break catastrophically somehow, but I don't know how. Yes. So I'm, it's kind of hard to to try to think. All, all right, all right. So basically, the code as it is right now, we can do it even even like this, which which is exactly the same, well, more or less. Um, here we just say disabled while we animate and then we undisable it, which is not what we want, right? We want to can disable until the operation is. Yeah, exactly. So I guess that would be so remove this yeah. and then get rid of this. Yes. So the question is, do we want to do we want to wait for animation and then dismiss? That's probably the, the proper thing, right? Uh, so there's one thing that I would like to change. Right now the alpha is applied to the whole box. But I would like to apply it just to the contents here. Right. Does it change when we want to set to set it as disabled before or after animation? Uh, I I would want to animate the alpha immediately. So I want the 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 foreground to close and the alpha to to go to disabled and the item to be uh, disabled at the same time. So we, we already okay. have yeah that. I think we probably also need to put their uh, enabled modifier, I guess, which I forgot to do, probably. Yes, yes. So we want to put an enabled modifier to this five Yeah. That's where. Yeah, to this but, box here. So the problem is when it is already snoozed, you don't want to be able to swipe it as well. I so kind you of. Can snooze, you can snooze the thing, but you can never unsnooze it. That's true. So yeah, it makes sense to yeah not to allow anything to happen there. Okay, so let's for clarity, let's do the same. Let's do the following. So we have is in progress, and then we have val that we know is is actually used. <laughs> this one, right. and then we have val is. Enabled, which is either is in progress or is actually snooze. Mm -hmm. And then, if it is enabled, it is one F. Else, it's content disabled. So that's that's yep. That's do the trick. Okay. 
Um, but I'm just I just prefer here to be stupid and just like you know. No, no, it's, it. it's a good idea. So now we can share this enable and say here is enabled as well. So that should do the trick. And uh, therefore, uh, we can swap the is in progress here. So what will happen? You press the button. We immediately disable it. Yeah. We start animating this animation. Doesn't respect is enabled. So animation will run. But because it's disabled, users will never be able to interfere with animation. Yeah. Or, um, or yeah. do anything. The only else. thing that, that I think we need to fix is the fact that we put the alpha on the box and not on the item. Right. But we put it on the box that is. Because this box doesn't have the background. And I think the background is actually in in the notification item. I don't remember. I need to check. Uh, uh, yes, so, so, the card. So we so, can make this alpha, this background will be visible. The gray one. Sorry? If we will put the alpha here, yep. uh, this background, the, the, the what is the color? The brown, the brown background will be visible. Yeah, that's the point. I, I, I think we need to pass, uh, instead of setting the alpha here, we probably need to pass the, the flag, the is enabled flag down into okay. the notification item and, and set it on this column instead. Like animate the alpha of the column here. Okay, doc. And uh, I don't think we need the item alpha here anymore. I don't so, think we do. Yeah, mm. so we can just move that, I guess. And then this one is going in here there as yeah. well. And it goes like this, and then it's, it's enabled. Voila. Yeah. Should be OK. Looks oh, good no, to me. I, I, I refactored you. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. We don't uh, need this anymore. No, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, let's remove this, and then let's like go like that. Then we can do like this. Um, okay. So, 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 what happened? Yeah, let's remove this one. Yeah. Um, so this. Nice. Um, so what happened is that we set the progress to true. But we never set it to false. Yep. With the assumption of magic fairy that is never failing us. <laughs> what we can do, we can say launch. So we need to set it to false somewhere. Yeah, at some point. Um, but actually, we don't. I, given that we cannot unsnooze, I don't think we care. But to be fair, if we if we name it is in progress, um, we need to set it to false because you know it's it's not gonna be in progress when we actually know if it's new yeah. Or not. So one thing we could try and do is uh, as you're doing there, use like a, a launched effect or or some sort of side effect. After I don't know five seconds, we reset the state, uh, as in like it somehow failed, and now you can try again. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the timeout kind of thing. We can we can do that actually. Um, so so what I was trying to do here is like if it changes from true to false, uh -huh. or from false that will reset it. It means that we are not in progress anymore. Then it's it's changed to something that we trust. Uh, yeah. But I mean, it sure we surely don't account for a. Um, um, for um for a for a kind of how do you call it the the timeout that's yeah that's the word if you want to account for timeout what we need to do um it starts like you can start a coroutine in the coroutine scope and do it there i don't know um we can I mean, you can technically do the same thing, like a launched effect on the uh, is in progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do is in progress, uh, and if we switch to is in progress, do delay, 
five, and then set it to false anyway, or, or else uh, we don't need any else. Here, yeah. we still need our launch defect. Um, we still need our launch effect with this. Um, it's actually snooze. At least not snooze. Fine, because if if snooze changed, we trust it. So we, we are not we are in the in the right angle. Um, yeah. So that's 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 how it should. Work, I believe. Yeah. The only thing um, I'm thinking, uh, but it doesn't really matter uh, in this case because if this happens before of the timeout, then the fact that this happens after this doesn't matter. Right, yeah. it could it could theoretically happen that uh, the we we get the notification from the source of truth that the notification is now uh, snoozed, so we reset is in progress. Then the right. user does it again, so and then when we we, this to false, we we cancel this one, right? Yeah, we we need to cancel this one. Oh, it, it will it will be canceled. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, true. True. And that will because we, yeah. we only launch delay if we switch to in progress. You're right. You're right. If we set it to false here, we dispose what we have, launch it again, and it will be a no no op because uh, this will be false. Yeah. So that should work. Um, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> let's let's try. Yep. Let's try it on. Um, what do you have? What do you have as a, on on notification dismiss in a call in a preview? Nothing, right? Uh, no, there's nothing. Uh, okay, but, so we can actually wait for five seconds and. Yeah, but I, I have a problem which is doesn't do anything anymore, and now I don't know oh, if because it's... it's because it's probably snoozed already. Your your item. Ah, uh, it might be. It, yeah, it might be. Uh, where was it? Uh, preview notification. Uh, do, 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 do. Is this false? No. False. Oh, it's not snow. Nope. Bum, bum, oh, yeah, bum. yeah. Because it's, it should be like. Oh, um, right. <laughs> yeah. Classic. So it's always off by one, right? Yeah. Minutes since off by one, uh, off by. True, false, uh, confusion, zero. zero. Um, I, we need one of those, you know, like a uh, display in the background. Yeah. It's been five days since the last time I, I yeah, yeah. put the wrong <laughs> Boolean value or something. Uh, okay, let's uh, see. Um, do we, do it doesn't do seem to do why? anything, so I'm going to stop it and restart it because sometimes it gets a bit confused. Mm-hmm. I jinxed it, man. Yeah, you did. No, okay, it works. Okay. Okay, and I can close click, 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 it. Click. And I can snooze it. Can it doesn't seem to slanty? doesn't seem to do the disable I, bit. I don't I don't see it on Skype. I don't know what you see there, but I don't see it here. It doesn't seem to do the disable bit. I see. So the disable build is just alpha, or we are doing something yeah. more intense? No, alpha, but also I can click it, and I can still click the card. Mm, OK, so it didn't switch the state. Yeah. Because like this should happen. Um, yeah, it should. Well, when so basically, we do remember mutable state of false, and then we switch it to true, which should launch a recomposition of this thing. And then we can launch this and that. Um, uh, And then is actually snoozed is never changing. Uh, and then here 
we do the interesting um so let's let's try and run through this and see what would happen so we said is in progress to true and we do the animate too we don't care about this but this will go tr to true which in turn will cause this to happen in five uh, seconds uh, and then also will change is enabled to uh, so this is false so this is true I think this is the problem oh I see well the boolean operations are hard isn't it yeah I think the problem is that we need to short circuit so it is enabled if it's not in progress e e I mean e, e is and? like in Russian and, yeah. yes um, and uh, it's not snoozed so if it's not snoozed and if it's not in progress, it is enabled. Yeah, that Perhaps. sounds correct. Oh my God, Boolean operations are the most most hardest thing ever. So are we are we are resetting the counter in the background again? <laughs> it's been yeah. we, we need to use minutes. I think like if it were me when I code, it's minutes. It's been five it's minutes since the last time I fucked that up. I don't know if it was five <laughs> minutes, man. I don't know if we managed to reach five minutes. Uh, we we it, will see in the VOD. We will see in the VOD. Is enabled if it's not in progress and it's not snoozed. It's enabled. Okay, let's do it. Nope. Oh no! Nice. Um, let's do. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. You oh, know man. what would be hilarious if it, we if, found if out that delay doesn't work in uh, in the preview because there's like a dispatcher, like the test dispatcher that everything happens immediately. Oh, I see. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's just spitballing and, you know, blaming the compiler. <laughs> it's never my code. <laughs> never, ne never mind. But the problem is what I want, I want... Um... Oh, so that's why we don't see disabled as well, right? Yeah. Okay, let's let's just never set to false, and then let's see what's going on. Because mm -hmm. I want to I I want to see if disabled works. If disabled works as we like. Uh oh, we are not passing it. What is enabled? Oh, all right, that's why. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's another another. I'm resetting the counter again anyway. Yeah, that was, I, was I need a generic, a generic counter in the background. It's been 30 seconds since the last time I've done something yeah. really stupid. So, <laughs> that's why That's why I don't like the default parameters. Default parameters are good for yeah. me, but if it's like, if it's your own API, you better. Yeah, for, for something like this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have put uh, default, I think. But again, I'm, I'm I'm trying to maintain the you know the compatibility with your previous code, so I don't want to break your own. Uh, uh, it is my I, fault after all. <laughs> I have, I have the social uh, duty to ask, how long are we planning to start to go? <laughs> no, I think we're done. I think we're done. If this works, we're done. Yeah, it works. Oh, we're done. look at that! It works. Looks Boom! Like and then that. it crashes the preview. <laughs> well, I mean. I don't know. No, I think it, it's because uh, Matt may move to a different screen. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'm following him, but I, I can do like I'll re reset the interactive preview now that the uh, delay is back there. And I think it, it's. Uh, I need to close it and restart it. Oh, no. Uh, Mike, oh. yeah, you might still have a few hours of work, but I have other things to do. Yeah, <laughs> Namely, and... put things in boxes so that tomorrow I can move said boxes to a different place. Pretty, pretty. What, much. what about I mean... the modifiers? Does your box have modifiers? Because ours does. So, so you... <laughs> um, you can do these boxes instead. Well, it definitely has uh, weight as modifiers. <laughs> yes. Yes. I we broke preview finally. Yeah, I think we 
totally fucked up the preview. Come on. That's all right. Come on, ship it, ship it on the phone. Um, Look at that. How many Nyan cats? Yeah, the problem is I'm not in interactive mode, but it thinks that I am. Uh, so uh, we might have yeah, broken so the broke. state machine in studio. <laughs> Oh, man. Whoops. <laughs> Ship it. Whoops. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I think we have done it. <laughs> yeah. Take the win. Take the win. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's fine. Nobody has seen anything. The preview is working just fine. Uh, it was actually surprisingly stable this time. So it's yeah. 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 I mean, sometimes it works perfectly fine. Sometimes it just gets really confused. Uh, but when it works, it's super nice. So I'll take that. Um, OK, I think it's time to give away some stickers even. The moment everyone yes. was looking for. Let's roll the stickers. So uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. pick, 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 pick. And we have a winner. Oh, no. Thank you, Yash K9. Congratulations for being with us and being a supporter and uh, getting stickers. So I'm going to just type your name in the shit and I'm going to just reach out to you for your address. Yes. Um, so congratulations again. So keep an eye on the Twitch chat. I am Whispers. going to uh, I'm, I'm looking for the discount code for QCon because I do mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. remember where the shit I put it. Ah, yeah, it is here. OK, so if you want 50 quid off QCon, ah, you can use that code. Um, you can go on the QCon website, which I had in the clipboard at some point. So, yep, there it is. And you can get 50 quid off. And I think, so we didn't really organize the giveaway of the ticket today. So we're going to do it next week. Um, the conference is in there is, early yeah, there is April. There's still time for the conference. Yeah, yeah the yeah. conference is in early April. What, what do you think, Evan? Should we give away the ticket on YouTube? Uh, yeah, we can do that. We can do yeah. that. I mean, it will be it will be broader audience. So because we have people in the live that they know, so they can keep an yeah. eye on the the VOD and the people on, on, usually on the VOD. So yeah, we can do that. Just okay. let's set, set it up. And tomorrow, uh, in twenty four hours, we will have the VOD on on YouTube. And then there are going to be instructions to join the giveaway for the ticket. So that was a nice idea. Good. Nice, Good. nice, nice, nice. So we have more people that can win. Uh, Matvey, thank you very much. Uh, thank it would you. Have probably Fair taken wrong. a lot more time and a lot more swearing <laughs> to get this done. <laughs> uh, but it's it's really interesting because when I try to use um, swipeable myself. I, I think I fucked something up and it didn't really do what I was expecting. But seeing you use it, it just works the way I would expect it to work. Yeah. So yeah, I was like, that's, Oop. that's that's the thing with API sometimes. Uh... <laughs> it like it made perfect sense as you were using it. It's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I was holding it wrong, like really, really wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's that's fine. That's fine. We did it together as a team. Yes. High five. And thank you for contributing. Uh, so obviously, if you want to come back with us, we'd love to have you back at any point to talk about anything you want. Yep. Um, or also just hack things together. Uh, we, we will never tell Clara about the padding hack. <laughs> no, no. So uh, this is actually yeah. This is the most. This is the thing we need to fix next time. I think I, I, I will go um, to the stream. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, okay, so I think uh, we need to thank everyone uh, that was thank everyone. Us, uh, in the audience and also any everyone that is looking at this on YouTube. So yeah, if you're looking at this on YouTube, uh, look at the instructions in the description. 
question yeah. mark we haven't done it yet yeah, but yeah. probably gonna be there uh <laughs> this is all very speculative <laughs> But well, don't forget it's to important. It's like, important for the uh, yeah. click, click subscribe. all the usual things. Subscribe. Click all the usual things. Yeah, the usual thing, the usual thing for the giveaway. Subscribe to the channel and open the privacy, uh, YouTube privacy, so we can pick you uh, yeah. as a commenter. Yeah, I think uh, Spike has decided we're wrapping it up now. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's time. It's like, time for even, the walk. And the even dinner. walk now, now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Thanks very much for having me. It's been a it's been a very nice uh, very nice two hours. Yeah. Thank also you again. And we'll see everyone on Wednesday next week. As a reminder, we will not be streaming this Sunday because someone is moving. Yeah, and you move hopefully, to someone is gonna have internet in the new place next week. Who knows? Five G. Five G. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> hey, thank you.